Hello Oracle fans, this is Justin and in this YouTube video tutorial we are going to show you how to delete an Oracle database. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to set our Oracle SID to our database name, which is finance. Ensure that it's set correctly. And then we're going to go to where our database is located which is C colon slash database or data finance DIR and here are the files which all collectively make up this finance Oracle database we have our three multiplexed control files control 01 that's CTL 02 3 and, and 3 we have our three online redo logs uh, redo 01 dot log redo 02 dot log redo 03 dot log and we have our four uh, table spaces which are created with every Oracle database uh, our sysox01.dbf data file, our system01.dbf data file, our temp01.dbf data file, and our undo tbs1.dbf data file. And this name, um, the changes uh, can it can can vary, but sysox uh, and sysox and system are usually the uh, data files which are created with every Oracle database. Okay, so these are the files which collectively make up our Oracle database. And this is just a simple Oracle database that we're using, for example, throughout these Oracle YouTube video tutorials. Um, a typical Oracle database for a big corporation, such as a bank or something, would be many, many files. Okay, so I also want to take you to the Oracle Home, which is the... Um, location on disk where the Oracle database software uh, was installed and that is on this computer that is C colon slash Oracle slash app slash product slash 11.1.0 which is the version slash DV underscore one and there's a subdirectory in the Oracle home called slash database and slash database basically contains all the configuration files for your Oracle database okay more specifically your um, SP file your NIT file and we see that we have a password file for our finance Oracle database and I explain what that is in the in secure and other security videos for Oracle um, and we have our SP file for an Oracle database so as for this database and it's SP file the name of the database finance that aura and then we have some other files for the instance here so and up here as well and this right here is our P file okay so what we're gonna do is to is that before I oh, before I do depending on how big it is and whatnot before I if I if if a customer asks me to delete an Oracle if a customer asks me to put up an Oracle database on the server that already has Oracle databases running on it as a scenario and yes it's very common to have multiple Oracle database instances running on one operating system one computer um, let's say it's a scenario that this system has uh, finance one two and three and they want me to put up finance four but finance one they say is not in use anymore and I can delete that database so depending on its size what I like to do as a, as a conscientious and a, as a responsible Oracle DBA as a professional I like to back up the database before I delete it so I want to do a cold backup I remember from the cold back and if you want more information about a cold backup refer to the cold backup YouTube video and first thing I do is determine that this is a database which it is finance and I shut down my database now this shuts down the database cleanly it flushes everything out of the SGA it um, checkpoints everything and all the data files makes them consistent makes them match with and uh, updates the control files and uh, tears down all, all the mem all the allocated memory structures for this instance okay so our database is closed dismounted and shut down so now we have a consistent database now I make a location for my backups on this Ensure that it was created, directory was created, and then it's indeed empty. And I go to where my database files are. And I do my copy command.
and I'm going to pause this video until the copy is has completed to conserve YouTube video time. Okay, the backup has completed, and I ensure that my backup is in my backup location by um, querying the directory structure of the backup directory, and there are all my data files. Okay, my control files, redo logs, and data files. So now I have a backup of my finance database. Now I am ready to drop my finance database. And I do that by starting up my database with three um, arguments or clauses as they um, as Oracle um, calls them. So startup means I want to start up my database. Mount means that I want I want Oracle to stop at the mount stage of Oracle database startup. And the reason why it needs to be mounted is that it needs to find out where the control files are by because because when you drop an Oracle database, you'll see it actually deletes the data files and the control file knows where the data files are. So that's why it needs to be in mount mode and restrict mode. And what restrict mode is is uh, I actually go into that in a um, in my uh, startup and shutdown uh, YouTube videos where I talk about the startup and shutdown of an Oracle database more in depth, and I show you some pretty cool examples and stuff involved in that. Um, I talked. I talk about the restrict clause or argument, whatever you want to call it. And the reason why you say restrict here is because you want it to. You don't want any other user to be able to SQL plus log into the Oracle database. That's what the restrict clause does. So we're doing startup mount restrict. Oracle instance started. Database mounted. So now our database is mounted, and we're in restrict mode. So now what we what we do is to drop our data to delete our database. All we do is issue the command drop database. Now our database has been dropped, and automatically it says not connected now because automatically. Oracle shuts down the instance as well when you drop it. And if we and if we're at the location where our database is C colon database or data finance and we do a DIR, we will see that it has deleted um, all of our redo log files, all of our control files, and our data and our data files uh, with the exception of the temp zero one that DVF. Um, and there are reasons for that and we'll talk about that when I talk on a, you, another YouTube video when I talk where I talk about um, temporary segments and temporary table space in depth. Okay. It also didn't delete the archive logs, but they're useless now because its database is gone. Okay. But basically, that's that's what the drop database did. And if you if we go back to the uh, Oracle home location I talked about earlier, okay, we will see that it does preserve the that it that it does preserve um, these files but it did but it got rid of the SP file and I talk about again I talk about the SP file when in a vi you know the YouTube video where I talk about um, database startup and shutdown more in depth you know it's more than just a shutdown command and startup command so I really that, I think that takes like two YouTube videos so do a search on that and you know you'll learn more about the SP file and P file and whatnot uh, but so as you can see, all the files that are related to the Oracle database, the drop database command takes care of. Okay, so that's how you drop an Oracle uh, database.